Hello and welcome back to the farm. We're in a new month now. We are in November and our oil sea radish has grown. And I believe we are able to now cultivate it into the ground, which will then give us the first fertilization stage. And if we go to the map, I believe all of it will be ready for harvest. Yep. Well, harvest, quote unquote, ready to be plowed or cultivated, sorry, into the ground. Awesome. And as it is a new month, we will also check the used machinery. I have not seen this yet. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't very exciting. I believe that was even there yesterday. <laughs> now, really quickly before we continue, I've actually added a few mods to the series. I don't want to go over everything right now. I will mention them when we start using them. And I will, by the way, try and keep all the mods down in the description below on ModHub. Uh, all of them will be from ModHub. So if you're interested in getting them yourself, you can get them from there. And I'll try and keep the list updated. Now, as we are going to be cultivating uh, these fields, these ready to harvest here, I want to go through my plan. Because once that is done, I need to, we need to start thinking about what crop we want to put in uh, for the first harvest. And I've been looking through stuff and I think the best thing we can choose is either oats or soybeans or sorghum. And the only thing that really matters for me is the time where we can actually harvest it. I want to harvest it as soon as possible. And also I want to put it down in the ground as soon as possible from where we are now. And yeah, these are pretty pretty much the same. The thing these three crops have in common is that they give a good yield and they also have a good selling price. But I think we will be going with oats this year just because we can seed them earlier than if we were to wait for April or May. So I think we will be going with oats. But soybeans or sorghum is also a good choice. Soybeans are very late harvest, whereas the sorghum is earlier and so, so is the oats. So I think we will be going with oats or sorghum. Our cedar can do all of those, so we should be good. Now I'm gonna take this tractor over to, over to the shop. I believe there's also something else that we need to put onto this tractor in order to be able to do what we need to do with, with the current crop that we have. Because with these tires, I believe, we will just destroy the crop so we need to put on so we need to install some road crop tires on this uh on this tractor actually uh not here i always get the turning wrong here we are and some for some reason my indicators aren't working that's interesting anyways let's head on over to the shop real quick over here and install those road crop tires before i forget there we go go in here uh, we're not here to repaint it or repair it. We're here to customize it and the wheel setup. We want not wide tires. That's the opposite <laughs> narrow tires these right here. Um, and apparently I can do that for free. I thought I had to pay money for that. Huh. Great service. Right. This means we won't destroy the crop when we drive the tractor over it, which will be handy to have uh, for other stuff as well. Now the equipment that we need to buy today is either a cultivator right here or a power, power harrow. Now they're pretty similar in terms of price and working with. The main difference between these two is the cultivator will result in a normal amount of stones and normal amount of weeds, whereas the power harrow will leave no stones but on the hand, but on the other hand, more weeds. So I think we don't want a lot of weeds. And the price difference really isn't that different. $500 difference. The horsepower required though is higher, but I think we're just gonna have to go with this one. Yeah, pretty good. Three meter working width. We're gonna purchase it directly because we need it. So let's take this back. Now there's a lot of stuff I want to do this episode. One of which is regarding money because currently we have no income. The only thing that we have that affects our money is because we have a loan and that interest gets deducted from our bank account every midnight, which is about a thousand and six hundred and sixty dollars. But I've thought of a few ways where we might be able to start earning some more money. 
another thing that I thought of that we might do, not this harvest, not this season, but the next one, or the next year, is to combine these two fields to make one big one. I think that could be beneficial. So we lower the cultivator. And we start driving. And if I look at the map on field 45, we should see it is cultivated. And also being fertilized where we are driving. Which is awesome. I don't want to miss bits. I said I don't want to miss bits and I've gone ahead and missed an entire row. <laughs> Good job me. Right. I think I'm gonna set this on a worker because while it is working we need to look at some business things. So let me back this up, put it into position. I'm just going to use the worker while I'm doing other stuff because that's just going to make sense. Now if we go into the shop here and we go to construction, that's us. Uh, if we go, if I know how to control this thing, there we go. We have this shed right here, which has zero value apparently. But what we do have the possibility of doing is if we go to, I believe, yep, production and then greenhouses, we can set down some greenhouses, which all they need is water and they will start producing whatever we choose. So lettuce, tomatoes or strawberries. And it is just 5,000 for a little one uh, like this one, which I think would be worth it. Now, obviously, it would be nice to have a big one like this, but that is 10,000 and we can't really afford that. And I don't think it is worth getting a small one. It would be more worth getting something like this. So I think we gotta get rid of this shed and then we're gonna put a greenhouse here instead. And we might be able to then fit another one in there. So I think I'm gonna sell this for nothing. It has no value. And then we're gonna choose this. Now where are we gonna place it? So that yellow bar right there uh, on the right now is where the pellets will spawn if we don't just sell it instantly. So I think having it right here is going to be pretty good. It's going to be a little bit of money. But it's going to be worth it. So if we go here, this is our greenhouse now. The pellets will spawn here if we tell them to spawn. And if we go into here, we can now select what we want the greenhouse to produce. And then it tells us how much we have uh, over here. And I can change the output mode from storing to selling, uh, which is what we would want to do. Storing would just leave the pallets because currently we don't have a trailer or anything to load up the, the, the pallets on. So we can't really sell it ourselves. We don't even have... We don't even have a front load on the tractor yet, so that is what we would want to do. What we do need now is water, though. And I'm hoping that that shouldn't be an issue. If we go into animals, we have some stuff here. So this is a water tanker right here. 3,000. The capacity of this one is 2,000 liters for $3,000. This is $10,000 for 7,000 liters. We are not in a position of being able to take anything other than this, I don't think. Um, we can always sell it when we want to upgrade. Oh, we can choose the, ooh, the rim color. Oh, just the rim, okay. Uh, let's go chrome. But no, actually that's 2000 extra. Nope, no, no, we won't. <laughs> I can choose black though. I don't think, yeah, we gotta keep it white. We gotta buy it for 3,000. And so when we have the tractor free, we will be able to, I think, get water from 
Okay, maybe not the stream right here, but we will be able to get water somewhere and then put it to the greenhouse and the greenhouse will just start making money, which is gotta be awesome. One thing that I do want to check out is if it is a good time to sell the potatoes. We are currently in November, so in December would probably be a good time to sell them. Goldcrest Valley seems to be having the best price. That I believe would be on the train, which is right there actually. So I could, I could go ahead and put the potatoes in the train silo and then when the price is right use the use the train so that might be something that we do because i kind of want to free up the trailer and i also want to get rid of this bunch over here which means i will need a front loader i don't think we will have the money for it actually because that's ten thousand we'll see Anyway, I'm gonna take over because I'm gonna have to save the money. Now, stuff we can do to get money other than obviously the greenhouse would also be to do more contracts like we did in the last episode, which did not go according to my plans at all. That's just how it is. But I believe what we might be able to do is accept the contract and then set a worker, obviously lease the required tractor and whatnot. Simple jobs. Simple jobs a worker can do. So we take the contract of doing a job and then we hire someone to do it for us. So we obviously don't make the optimal profit from that job, but we do make some money. And I think I might want to test that today. Final piece here. One game option that I might consider disabling are the stones because there are just so many of them and I feel like they appear at an unnatural rate <laughs> if that makes any sense I don't know how stones work in real life in fields how big of a problem they are obviously they are a problem when they appear but yeah, I don't know if they quite show up like that but anyway that is now field 45 done and it has one stage of fertilization which is really going to help us. So that is awesome. Yeah, they now have big stones which would need to be removed and that's expensive. So yeah, I might disable stones. Let me know what you think down below in the comments because they are tearing down our... Well, not tearing down, they're wearing out our equipment faster than if they weren't there. And again, I feel like they aren't very showing up on it well in real life weight <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna get these fields cultivated actually what I should do is get the greenhouse going immediately so it can start making more stuff now I believe when we sell when we set the uh, greenhouse to sell it will sell it at midnight um, so yeah, let me actually go ahead and do that. Turn on the working beacons. And let me go get that water tanker. There's so many different things that I want and so many things I want to do. But I need to remember that I need to take things at a slow and steady pace. Because if I mess up, then, well, we'll go bankrupt. <laughs> and that's not good. So I need to try and take things at a slow and steady steady pace because otherwise it's just not gonna work so yes I want a front loader yes I want another tractor yes I want to buy every equipment but it might not be the best thing ever there we go all right now where will I be able to load up this water there seems to be a river pretty much anywhere, so I can use this river, potentially, maybe. Otherwise, there's a lake here, which we could potentially get the water from. For the greenhouse. We shall see. I'll check by my own farm first. Alright, where is this river? This is obviously not enough to be able to fill a water tanker. And this is just a tiny, tiny stream. So, 
I think it's gonna be a tiny stream throughout this whole place. I highly doubt that this is gonna be doable. But I just want to make sure that it isn't before I say it isn't. <laughs> yeah. Not deep at all. Kind of knew that. Well, I think this Lego here is gonna be a our best choice. Oh yeah, this is much more doable. Refill mobile water tank. Now again, this is only like 2000 liters, but that should be good enough for us to be able to keep up with our greenhouse. All right, here we go. I actually don't know how much this greenhouse is going to take, but we're going to find out. All right, unload the water. It might take all of it. I did, I think it might take like 2000 or more. It took it all. All right. Wow, it has space for a lot of water. <laughs> um, right, I will have to go back and forth a little bit. Anyways, uh, so I don't know which one of these is the most profitable. I guess I need to check, uh, take a look. Lettuce, tomatoes, and strawberries. Yeah, I think lettuce is what is most valuable. So lettuce, I will put that to selling. And lettuce, I will activate. So for every two liters of water, we get one liter of lettuce. So this would then become 1000 liters of lettuce. When it's starting growing, obviously. But yeah, that is pretty good. I will set this here for now, because that's enough for it to start working. Um, I will go ahead and finish the cultivation work because yeah, we really need that done. All right, I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you at the end of it. Alright, this field is now done, and yeah, I think I will be disabling the stones. Unfortunately, now they are here, I will have to get rid of them at some point. Um, but yeah, I think I will disable the stones. Again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, but uh, yeah, I think that's something I will do. This final bit right here, and this field is done. And I think it would be a good idea to combine the two fields and get just one long field. I think that would be kind of cool. But anyways, before I do field 44, I want to check out something. Because I think I can do what we talked about before. Let me turn off the engine here real quick. If I take a look at contracts, anything but bailing, please. Cultivating, for example. That's doable. There's also plowing. 17,000 for plowing field 70. How big is that? Field 70. Understandable. That's why it's expensive. <laughs> or, yeah, well paid. If I go to something a little bit more simple. Like cultivating field 53. How big is field 53? 53 is actually our neighbor. That shouldn't take too long to cultivate. So if I go ahead, this is going to be a little bit of a test. Field 53, I'm going to borrow the items. I'm going to make sure that that is 53. Yes, 53. I'm going to go ahead and borrow the items. 
which means we should get about two thousand dollars for it. So if I borrow the items, which I've just done, and I tap over to this, oh, listen to that engine and this tractor in general. This is huge. Oh, hey, buddy, sorry. <laughs> This tractor is nice, but I'm wondering if I'm able to set this on a worker and then still get more money than I'm using on the worker. Because if that is the case, that would be quite cool. That could be a way of making a little bit of extra money. Now a job like this, like cultivating, I don't mind doing when it's this large of machinery, so I could just do this one myself. But this is kind of a test to see if I would be able to do this. I think I go down here. And then I believe there's a track. Yep, there's a track right here. And then it's the next field on the left. It shouldn't take a worker with this kind of tool too long to do. So if I unfold it, put it in position like that, and then hire a worker to do it. Sorry. <laughs> the worker is then working in that field. It says progress complete. So it is going. So while that is working, I'll be able to work in my own farm while making money. Maybe I don't know if this is actually going to work the way I think it is. But if it is, it could be a good little way of having a little bit of a side business, I guess. <laughs> Getting contracts and then paying people money to do those contracts for me. I guess that makes sense, right? So you get the contracts, and then you hire people to do those contracts. They're getting paid, and you're getting paid. So yeah, let's see how this then turns out. I'm gonna continue working in my field. And we're gonna see how this, this thing turns out. If it's gonna be worth it. But anyways, let's finish up these fields. Alright, final strip. I should be able to get it all in one go. Maybe? Ah, almost. <laughs> almost. Alright. And that final bit over there. And I'll be interested to seeing, in seeing, I should say, how far the worker has come. Alright. That is this field done as well. Alrighty, that is this field done. I had to do some stuff in real life. So let us now see how far the worker has actually come. So it's pretty much halfway. So yeah, I'm not sure how much money we've used on this so far. I think maybe $200. So I think this is actually a viable option, like something to do with some of the larger contracts to do. Very nice. So while that is, well, continues to run, that might actually fund us something that I really want to buy. Uh, in regards to the, uh, or related to the greenhouses actually, because we need water, but the issue is right now, like we did earlier, we would need to go to a place like this. What would be ideal is if we bought something along the lines of this right here, water tank. The water station can supply your water tanks with fresh water. It's only $3,000 and we would be able to place it like over here or something. Maybe over here? Nah. Over here. 
very close to the to the greenhouses. We could maybe even place it down here by the water area. So, yeah, I think if we could f uh, get the get the contracts to kind of pay this, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think placing it like right here. I don't want to place it too close, like in the middle of this. Maybe just over here somewhere. Boom. Yep. That means we can very easily get water uh, to our tank. Very close by. And we can expand with more greenhouses if 